or how's your new vlog going? Uh, my vlog, personally, I'm still working on it, okay? Because, well, ADD sucks. <laughs> Especially if you're a bow hunter. Trust me. That's why I've never given kill anything for a long... Hey, look at that bird. Over there. <laughs> nice. Seriously, look at that. Guys, what's up? This is Isaac from Easton. You guys probably saw him in our last archery shooting video when we were at the archery center. The archery center is closed today. So we're at the Easton Archery Headquarters. Uh, yep, our headquarters this is our little park. This is where we have our company 3D leagues. And we also, it's where a lot of the employees come and shoot. And it's just a simple place for us to try out arrows. So Bridget and I were just at Wild Arrow and we wanted to shoot more because we're gonna head out to Texas on an axis deer hunt this weekend. And luckily this place was open. It's hot and it's outdoors, but that's all right. Pretty cool, they got a bunch of 3D targets out here. Looks like they have a platform to shoot off, kind of like a tree stand platform. But yeah, this place is set up. Here's the uh, big block target range. That's like the 3D course with the animals and stuff. This is the big block targets, just like that. All I really need to do right now is focus on fine-tuning my 30, 40, and 50. I'm not really going to worry about my slider right now because I don't think I'll be taking any shots further than 50 in Texas. So that's what I'm about to do is just try to dial in those pins. Because I had to retune my bow after Total Archery Challenge. After shooting like two or 300 arrows through it, we went back, fine-tuned it. Now the beast is ready to rock and roll. This marker right here is going to be 30 for the caribou. All the animals out here were just super odd numbers. So we're gonna start at 30, and then move to 40, and then we'll go further back to 50. So here goes my first round at 30 yards. All right, first group of 30. Come on, babe, come shoot. I know that was close, but I don't think it was paper. I think that was paper. I In the 3D world, I think they call that spot. Like when you hit the X, they go spot. Spot? I think that's what they say. Yeah, I want so, to hear you say spot after. Spot, or I'll just do the 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock thing. Okay. You, is she left? You're a little left. She's a little to the left. How's my up and down? Perfect. Hell yeah. That was low. That was six, Okay, I think that's called 6 o'clock. Yeah, that was like a 5.30. What I really want to do is hit my 40. Sight in my Oops. 50, which those of you who remember when we were at Easton, we did all that. But unfortunately, the serving on my string was loose, way loose, way sloppy. So it is what it is. Those guys fixed it, reinforced it. Down here, you can see that the guys at Wild Arrow did that part. And then we had to re-level, retune, and basically start over. So, so far, so good. Slap. Yep, you're slapping arrows. All right. This guy is the pro. I get learn from Isaac, man. Well, actually, I just do. I learn from the pros and just regurgitate it. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but now that's one good thing about working at Easton. You got a whole history of archers who are willing to help you, talk to you from you know the guys, professionals, professional shooters, all the way to the hunters. So, all right, ready. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. Oh, There's my shot. group. Yeah, the first one was paper, barely, huh? However, though, if you wanted to, you could say you were shooting for the 12 ring and you stayed yes, two in the 12 actually, ring. that's exactly. You could say that. And this one could be mm -hmm. touching. All right, second shot group at third. That nice. felt good. That one, that, one, that one flew real good. Did it hit paper? That's paper. It's, uh, hold on, spot. Plain courtesy, right? Is, this how it Is it like golf? Is it like bowling and golf? That was really good. You're just uh, three o'clock. That felt good Spot. and that was on paper. Building confidence, finally. After Total Archery Challenge, which by the way guys, we will have a Total Archery Challenge video up. It, it turned out really good. I know Logan and Casey are editing it right now. Um, so we're gonna throw this video up today. You guys will see Total Archery Challenge this week. That felt good too. You're on. Spot. So I got a question for you. So I don't know if you saw, I mean, I saw Casey for the first time, you know, since his 90 day challenge, right? Yep. The 90 that day guy, challenge ended at the end of June. Okay, well that guy, 
now I feel like we should have another thing where 50 cents a day will feed that guy. Because, <laughs> wow, you know, we should have like a, you know. Donate now. Donate now for Casey, because. Maybe Easton can get on this. Every dozen arrows, they feed Casey one mil. Probably, that's what we should do, because I mean, that guy, holy cow, I didn't recognize him. You might, even might. So guys, I, I look at the uh, Instagram pages through Hush they're flooded but even my personal instagram when i put some pictures up with casey on my stories just went nuts like people like wow casey looks great casey looks so happy he does so that turned out super good cool. job on that let's go to the groups here real quick back here sorry ad adhd moment <laughs> couple on the right for bridget not bad though but i shouldn't be right it's so weird last they time say I that the pins are different in this indoor versus outdoor how do you feel Isaac? that's true I, I really do the lighting with the lighting and playing effect on it and also yeah. too you do have a draft here though too so I'm gonna say hmm. that I prefer the outdoor lighting because that's the way we hunt because <laughs> that's how I hunt. so as we're walking back I got a question for Eric Eric if you could go back 10 years to see your future self what advice would you give yourself on archery on archery mm -hmm. If I could go back and give myself advice on archery, definitely practice more. Practice sitting, practice more, because I just started a tree stand, huh? Um, practicing in all the different, like kneeling, standing, sitting. Honestly, buy the best equipment you can afford. That's true. I understand that, because what happens is, I did the same thing. You know, they all, there's there's two angles on that, right? You If you're, I don't know how to work. Buy the but best like, equipment you, you can afford. If you buy something cheap, yes. You may not know what you're missing out on. People are like how you don't know what you're missing out on, but until you go to expensive. But if I can go back, I would buy the best I can afford at the time, because instead you just buy low, Correct. and then you have to. You I mean as soon as you get that one, you want the next because you see the difference. Exactly. So I'd buy the best that you can personally afford. You got some advice for your future self? For my future self, relax, have fun with it, and also do less do less because sometimes you get so hung up on hitting that small dot uh -huh. when you start out you focus on that small little dot and if you're shooting target that's what you want to do but when you the way we shoot our bullseye is the size of the hat True. that's our bullseye so patience is definitely what that's one of the things it's yeah. almost you can't i don't know if you can learn patience without experiencing you know or you have things, kids, rushing. or if you have kids, you learn patience <laughs> well, that way. Yeah, I can't see that. Much. <laughs> it drove me crazy the times I would just leave thinking I wasn't a good enough archer. And it wasn't until a buddy of mine pointed out, but this right here, if you could get your group in here, you're good. As you get better, then you could work your way on stacking them mm -hmm. in the small little groups. So do less, don't overthink, have fun. Apparently Isaac, we knew he was smart, but Isaac is a genius. I have to give all the credit to Isaac on this one. He says, why don't you guys shoot from the shade and then just move the targets to 30 and 40. <laughs> that never even crossed my mind because I'm like, these, these animals are like the most oddest numbers. Yes. <laughs> I just for some reason thought they were like set. Nope, nope, we're not set here. And that's what comes with age, getting older, you get a little wiser. <laughs> See the gray? How old are you? I'm 42. I'm 35, so I'm getting there. All right, first group at 40 without really having like something to specifically aim at. Plenty of those, I would say, are in the kill shot, but again, it was kind of hard to aim at something that when I didn't have something small. So I'm going to throw one of these up. I just shot my first group at 50 yards, which for me, on my slider, I have a 30, 40, and then my 50 pin is my slider or floater, whatever you want to call it. So this was my group right here these felt good all three of these felt really good i remember pulling right on this one i have not been shooting this because it's got a torn fletch but i decided to shoot it at 50 and see what it did and it's way off so i'm probably just gonna not shoot that one so i don't worry about it but that group is tight right there at 50 i could probably bump up that pin just a touch bridget's gonna do her 40 yard shot group Ooh. I felt low. It really felt, it looked like it was going to hit paper, but then it just sunk. Yeah. Ooh, just on the left side of the paper. Okay, guys, I'm shooting at 70, which means I got to use my sight tape. So my 50 was close, and I'm going to dial down to 70 and see how it shoots. Eric at 70. All right, 70 yards on a big pull out. 
very realistic looking here. Dude, that felt money. A little forward. Here's Bridget's group. Pretty solid. Let me get him. Okay, I just shot a three shot group at 70. I made adjustments on the slider and we're back in the money zone. A little high maybe still. I think I put my slider for 67 and the rangefinder was calling for 68, 69. Again, I'm gonna put a new slider on after this whole Texas hunt is said and done. But for Texas, I really wanted my 30, 40, 50 to be on and I say we're good. Ah, what the heck was that? I just got stung. Holy hornet's nest. Oh, no, 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 get out. Woo! Oh, it's, <laughs> that stings. Why does such a small thing hurt so bad? Oh my gosh, my leg is on fire. <laughs> There's a hornet's nest right there. As soon as I took that step, he got me. Through my hoof it socks. That dang thing. I haven't been stung by a hornet or a bee for many years, so. I guess it was my turn. We're gonna do a bonus round up here on the platform, shooting the bucks. Let's see how we do. It's way windy. Way. There you go, that's a kill shot. Right above, like that could be touching the paper. Yeah, that's a good one. 37. <laughs> Dead. It's right there. Yeah. Let's go check them out, guys. That was a hot afternoon of shooting. We have to get through the gauntlet of hornets. Get out of here safely and head home. Hurry. I see like 40 million of them. I know, they got me. All right, she's taking the back exit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy hornets and this. Let me show you guys. Get out of there. Yeah, I'm in the danger zone. We're out of here. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just wanted to film some of the sighting and stuff. There was probably nothing very educational in this video, so I apologize for that. It was just a fun day of shooting, getting ready, and to announce that we're headed to Texas to hunt axis deer and hogs with Jeff Helm and uh, Cody Wells. So super excited, we will document that. We will upload those on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and hope you guys are having a killer day. For those of you who wanted to see how the shots went, here's my two shot group at 28. There's Bridget's and then this one was a little low, just kind of split in my 30 and 40 pin, but that'll kill them dead. Anyways, if you watched till the end, thank you guys.